Okay, so I'm not very good at this whole talking to myself thing. Although, saying that, I'm off to a good start, if I don't mind saying so myself, which I don't mind. So, watch girl. It was a pleasure to burn with you, even just for a single moment. However, my time is up. But before I say goodbye, I want to say hello. Hello, I'm a roof dangler, a person who can't decide if they should top themselves or live happily ever after. A roof dangler is a little more than nothing, a little less than something. Too alive on the outside to be dead, too dead on the inside to be truly alive. Hey, that may have sounded lame, but it wasn't, it was poetry. I say neat stuff sometimes. So, okay, I'm not on a rooftop right now, but how many rooftops can you actually get to with ease? And bridge dangler isn't the same. I cheated. Shoot me. My time is running out anyway. I think. I would know for sure if you hadn't taken my damn watch. What time is it? Is it time? I gave my watch to her. Does that make it time? Or does she say she worked again? That's it, the watch girl works at the bar. I guess I could go and ask for it back. I've got nothing else to do today that couldn't be done tomorrow. probably gonna want your watch back. I don't need to tell the time. I'm not planning on being around for much longer. Why would you do something stupid like that? If you give me an endless amount of time, I'm sure I can think of an endless amount of stupid things to do. What do you want? I'm looking for a girl. Who is it? I'm looking for a girl that works here. You must be the guy she stole that watch off of. Ah, she's taking a shine to you. Great. Um, can you tell me where she is? Sit down first. I want to talk. So, what do you do with yourself? I'm sorry, what? Do you work? Um, what? No. No, I don't. Why not? My last job fired me. I kept dropping things. Why? Because I didn't want to hold them anymore. Fair enough. So where is she? Do you believe in giants? What, what like the ones at the top of beanstalks? No, of course not. I do. Oh. 
Oh, and do you find that uh, goblins and dragons are also in your list of reasonable things you suspect exist? New? But giants are kind of different, no? Big creatures. How do we know they don't exist? Well, for a start, we found no skeletons. Should be pretty easy to find the ones that are really big. Yeah, but maybe the only reason we haven't found a vacated skull of a giant is because they're so massive, we can't even see them. Our observable universe is in the corner of one, and we're just too small and stupid to even know it's there. Or maybe we are the giants. I like you. I'm not going to tell you where the girl is, but I'll tell her you stopped by. What? Are, are you kidding me? You've lost it. Maybe you're right. Maybe I have lost it. Or perhaps I lost it, found it again, and then totally disregarded it and pondered whether or not I actually ever needed it. Uh-huh. I'm going now. Do you have any family to live for? My mum ran away before I had a chance to remember her name and my dad remarried a woman that hates me. She made him pick between me and her. Hint, they didn't pick me. Sounds like you had a bad life. Not a bad life, just a series of bad things. I always thought it was more likely for someone to turn into an elaborate balloon animal than perhaps anything bad happened to them. Hopefully a big red parrot. <laughs> How do you explain the abundance of bad things and the lack of Polly Wanna Cracker? Statistical error. A lot of bad luck. And I still wait for the day I can be a big red parrot and just float away. Don't forget, you want to be red. I say red, but any colour will do. Right. There seems to be this preconceived notion that people who commit suicide are sad. They hop off the roof of an alarmingly tall building, shouting goodbye cruel world as they reach their terminal velocity so that they can make a significant impact with the ground. However, the more I come closer to the idea of ending it all, the more I realize that most people who commit suicide do it not with tears running down their cheeks, but with a certain clarity. A clear mind shows them that no other way is needed. Death is the final hour of every man's life. Just I choose to go down on my own terms. Okay, I admit that was kind of lame. Do you have the time? Yes. Is it time? Do you dance? Only never. So, not in front of people? How do you mean? Well, everyone dances, just not in front of people. I guess. Well, you're not real right now. And a roof dangler doesn't count. So by my counting, that means there's no one in this big field. I fear I know where you're going with this. problem with what Kurt Cobain said. He said it was better to burn out than to fade away. Which I'm completely compelled to agree with talking about the impression he left on the world with his amazing talent. However, what if you never had your chance to emit your light? How can you burn out or fade away if you never made an impression to begin with? Gatsby chased a light, a green one at the end of the harbour. It gave him hope that one day his dream would come true. But again, what if I don't have a light to follow? 
Okay, Gatsby's dream didn't come true, but at least he had one. Here I am, in darkness. No light to follow and not bright enough to see. I have no idea what to do. So I just wait for the darkness to move. But it never does. scale of the universe, how do you feel like you matter and not just lost in the infinite? I matter because I am matter. Explain. All matter is created shortly after the Big Bang, and for the most part it was reused. So, some of the atoms in Shakespeare while he wrote Romeo and Juliet are in us now. Or some of the atoms in Da Vinci when he painted the Mona Lisa are in me right now. When I die, some of the atoms will be used in the person who finds a cure to everything. Or the first person on Mars. Atoms are the universe, and they're constantly being reused. So, we're not lost in the infinite. We are the infinite. That's how I look at it anyway. I didn't know you were super smart and said, like, words a lot. Do you even know my name? No, no but I'm so drunk I doubt I even remember you. God, I want to remember. I'll remember you. You gave me a souvenir. I'll find you. Okay, I guess I have no time. Hey, watch guy. I heard you're looking for me. Took your time? What'd you call me? Watch guy. I believe this belongs to you. And at that point, my smile caught the light. And it was a pleasure to burn, stuck in that single moment, forever. Like stars, light travels out indefinitely, long after the source died out. Individual photons traveling forever, outwards. Summer, traveling, never aging, ever expanding till it becomes giant. The image of me, the roof dangler, and her, the watch girl. On the day we met on the bridge. On the day we gave up our names. On the day we burned. On the day we became giants. What do you want? 